What's up guys, it's going on? It's your boy here, Ryan. Ryan Beats. How's everybody doing? Yes, yeah, so I'm very excited to show you guys this video, but I had a little issue. The first, I don't know, I would say five minutes of it, at least, is there was no audio. I don't know what happened. Um, I've been ha having audio issues with this GoPro, the, the media mod with the shotgun mic. Having issues with it. I don't know what's going on, but um, so the first part of the video, I would say around five minutes, it's just me overdubbing, talking about what I'm doing. I'm just showing you the product, but it will get better. Audio will come back soon. And yeah, so let's get on with the video, all right? What's up guys? So again, we're gonna do some overdubs here because Mike wasn't working. So it's just me here saying what's up to everybody. And I'm gonna show you guys what I got new and bam. So this box here is something I got from Cobra Inc. Uh, I think they're somewhere in Pennsylvania, East Coast, wherever. And I'm gonna show you guys that, hey look, I got this thing from Juan like years ago because he was complaining that I was using my scissors too cut um through cardboard or whatever to open boxes so he sent this to me and we're gonna open it there we go don't cut yourself ryan because that will be pretty bad hey hey look at that shirt look at that shirt look at that shirt come on muscle man come on come on open it but um i'm showing you guys how much i spent on it i spent uh almost 260 i believe 270 or whatever it was all right, so I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know what this red thing is. Um, two of them is for priming, repriming the tubes, and I forgot what the other one is. And I'm looking at this other tube, I'm like, wait a minute, did I just buy more than what I need? So yeah, I don't know what this red thing is for, uh, but it did come with like little plastic uh, cover tubes for the inks, which I'm not going to be using, so I'm just gonna leave it in there. And we're gonna open the other one instead. So uh, yeah, wait, that stays there. So this one, let's see here. So it says reprime, and it has a set of tubes. So this is for a set. And I was gonna actually use the other set for priming. And this set right here was supposed to be for my 4880. You guys know I've had issues with the 4880 Epson printer. It's been clogging. And then just trying to realize that I got the wrong one because the tubes are really, really small. And I know for a fact that the 4880 Epson has bigger tubes, so I don't know what to do with this one. I'm gonna have to return it, but it was only like 20 bucks for that set. Um, and that's probably why um, that set has its own priming syringe. So we're gonna just keep that there with it and uh, figure out what we're gonna do with this one but like I said it's only 20 bucks so I might as well keep it it's probably gonna cost me more to ship it <laughs> you guys know what that is so yeah so leave it alone all right so this is the cleaning solution from Cobra Ink and this one is the um, clog buster ink buster so these are the items that I'm gonna be using to clean the 4880 hopefully it does declog it and hopefully it works. All right, let's put all this stuff. I was gonna put it aside because all this stuff was for the 4880, Epson 4880, and we're not gonna do with that right now. So uh, we're gonna put this aside and work on the printer that we're going to be working on, which is the 1430. All right, so this box here, separate box, a box within a box. This one's actually the kit for the 1430 so let's go ahead and open it when I say 1430 guys I meant the Epson 1430 it came with a bunch of DVDs um, it just shows you how to do an install which is great I've actually looked online Cobra don't I well I didn't see it online that they didn't have a, um, a website video for their videos of how to install their system that's probably the reason why they were giving out the, uh, the DVD movie CDs or DVDs, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna check this out later. All right, let's see what they got. All right, we got this box here. 
This is uh, the hardware kit. All right, so this is the hardware kit. It comes with a syringe. It is for repriming. It also comes with a couple other stuff. It came with, yeah, so I have this package. It comes with gloves, cleaners, and etc. So we're gonna need that later. Um, keep in the box until we get with it. Now, here's the other stuff. So this is the waste tank. Uh, I did buy that waste tank. Um, I think it was something that was no brainer that we need to get a waste tank for this because Epson uh, uses a lot of ink, especially when you're doing head cleaning um, or any kind of cleaning, they just use a lot of ink. And for this Epson 1430, it doesn't really have a, a waste tank that you can replace. So once that little pad or whatever it dumps into inside the 1430, once it's done, it's done, it's gonna leak out. So it's best to just go ahead and get the, the waste tank. So that's what we're doing with that one. Ah, another DVD. It's just installation of the waste tank. Definitely look at that later. All right, so what else we have here? So we got some inks. One, two, three, four. There you go. Five and number six. That's the reason why I went with the Cobra inks because it does the kit um, comes with everything you need. I think it's worth what they what they have as far as the kit, um, especially with their customer service. So that's hence that's why I went with the kit instead of a. Uh, the individual ones. So here's the main thing, the CIS um, kit for the 1430. Um, again, it's an external um, carriage for, again, this the CIS is a continuous ink system and is externally mounted uh, on the outside of the actual printer. And that's why they have tubes going into the actual um, the empty cartridge that you guys can see on the other one right there yeah so that's the empty cartridge it feeds uh, all the ink from the outside from those containers into those cartridges inside and there's a specific way of installing it and we're gonna show you guys right now I'm showing you there's a reset button what's great about it is you don't have to take the cartridge out and get the reset key to reset it all you gotta do is just push that button and it resets the um, the cartridges for you to full or zero all right let's bring the camera around I'm gonna show you guys this is the Epson 1430 what you need to do is uh, turn it on push the uh, the ink button all right so you turn it on it, it does this little little cleaning it cleans all the time guys so hence the waste tank so what you gotta do is push this button here just push it once right there push it push it blah 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 push it push it push it push it, push it. so what it does it, it moves so you can get to the inks that's the little window that it needs to go to for you guys to even get the ink out so here it is it stops right there So pop the lid and those are the ink cartridges. I'm not sure if they're the original one that came with it, but we're gonna take it out anyway. It doesn't matter. And they're all empty. So let's go ahead and take them out. All right, so, okay. So once, once we got all of these things out, what we're gonna do is let the printer sit for about five minutes and then we're gonna turn it off. And we'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, it's about five hours later. Um, I forgot I had to cook today, so I had to stop, cook dinner, eat dinner, and then um, try to put the kids in bed. And forgot I had to do this. So let's get back to it. Okay, so we took out the cartridges, the ink cartridges, these things, the old ones. Go ahead and pop this thing open, and. Um, Let's go ahead and install this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and open this little bag that I came with and this, this little 
CIS kit 1430. If I can get it out. I always have their business card in every single package, which is pretty smart. All right, what is this we have here? We have gloves, we have, should I be wearing gloves? I don't know, should I be wearing gloves? All right, well, let's put the gloves there. All right, we have the, um, the Velcro pads that would go with this thing. You can go ahead and put that on. Uh, uh, we'll do it later. And we have some alcohol prep swabs. And I'm not sure what these things are. I think these are like uh, diaphragms. See that? That's little diaphragms. All right, so for this thing to work, we're gonna have to take this cover off. Okay, let's close this real quick. So we can move this to the side. So what I'm just trying to do is just trying to, you guys can't really see it, but I'm trying to get this little bracket, hinge bracket off so I can get this cover plate off. So just kind of try to get that thing out of there. Well, I broke it. <laughs> I broke the little tab down here, but whatever. There it is. That's all we need to do. But I broke the thing. Well, little. See, so it has these two little, little sliders things here that slid through here. It, that little piece broke. Which is okay. It's still usable, but oh well. Okay, let's put that aside. Let's go ahead and install this. All right. So since we got that thing out of the way, actually these things little clips they always break so uh, Cobra has replacements for them if you want to buy and put it back to normal spec I guess so for the video all we gotta do now is get our alcohol swab this thing they want us to uh, clean the areas that we're gonna be sticking to so first things first is on this side the whole side back here Okay, I think one on this side somewhere. Just clean that off. And right in between these, this marking right here, on right underneath, like so. Okay, so next step. All right, now we gotta set this, oh, this thing in here. First things first, we gotta move the carriage back on this side, like so on that side. Let's see if I can get a, a better shot of it. Let's move the uh, the carriage on this side so we can put this thing in here. Let's go ahead and put this thing in here. I think it goes like this, right? And now we can put the Inks the cartridges in here. All right, I think they're all there. All right, next we gotta put this little doohickey of a clamp here. Make sure it's on there. Looks like it's not on there correctly. I think that's good. So they want it. Here's the paper button, the second button to the right. They want the middle of this to be right here. So let's so get it all lined up. I'm just gonna stick it right on there, like so. Peel that off. Let's line it up where it needs to be. And there you go. So this is supposed to go freely, like that. Okay, looks good. Looks like it's not touching it. Let's make sure it's secure. Push this thing in a little bit more. 
All right, next is we're gonna install this thing, which is the um, the tanks. Um, but we gotta put all these Velcro things on it. So for the video, the best thing to do it is put the Velcro there, then peel it off. Make sure it's on there. Come on now, come right off. I think it's just best for me to just do it like that. All right, so they said you want this tubing to go right where this indentation of the, uh, the printer, so the lid will close properly. Okay, it's kind of weird because like, I don't know if I like that, but that's what it says. We're just following the, the video. Uh, they said that you don't want to pull it too much, but you want it to go over this indentation and then with this little clamp here, stick it on just like that. Give it a little bit of slack. All right, so the reason for that is so you can able to pose it without pinching the, um, the tubing. That's why they have this indentation, so it kind of goes down there. Okay, that works, I guess that works. All right, so it says that you have to have this thing up two inches off the thing. So is it is instructed this, that to use this box that it came with, remember all those the little doohickeys that it came with, as a platform or a guide, just like so, just stick it on there. It this way again it's sitting on the box I don't know I guess like that and we can take this box away I guess that's it it's a lot of slack I don't like how the tube bends like this I mean, there's no way to get around it you know Maybe me try to flip it the other way. I don't know. Well, that's it. Let's go ahead and unplug all these. Look, where are my gloves? Where are my gloves? Install air filters. So I'm assuming these are the air filters. Not sure yet, but. Um, so if you're doing colors, you want to go from light to dark since is all gonna be all black it doesn't matter so we're just gonna fill it all with the black so this ink that we're using from cobra ink it's four ounce it's part of their um, all black ink solution okay so the cap is sealed you want to do just cut a little bit of it you don't want to cut too much because there's a little piece here for the um the cap to to go into so don't even cut that much all you gotta do is just, just nick it a little bit. And we still have, we're able to cap it still. Okay, so this is what we wanna do. And then for this, um, you don't wanna peel the whole seal off. You just wanna poke a hole. That's about it, that's all you need. Let's go ahead and cap this up. Okay, let's go ahead and fill it up. All right, that'll be good. We're about, I don't know, an inch from the top. On all one, two, three, four, five, six. Just to let you guys know, I only use three, and we do have three left, so which is freaking awesome. Okay, so now we gotta put um, these things back. Now 
Now it did start to run through the uh, the tubes here, which is okay. Now let's go ahead and put this thing back. So when you guys are putting the this thing back, when you put it, make sure you give it a little, just a little wiggle, because it is Velcro. All right, now we gotta do is take this thing out, and we have to uh, prime it. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this thing out. Now let's go ahead and prime it. We're gonna be priming it with this thing, with this little syringe. It says repriming syringe. All right, so the purpose of this is um, you're pulling air out of the tubes so um, the ink can come through. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna prime it all the way. We're gonna fill this in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it all the way until uh, we get just a little bit of uh, ink in the syringe and then we'll keep going to the next one, okay? Again, what you'd wanna do if you're doing color is light to dark, but this is all in all black. It doesn't really matter, so let's get to it. All right guys, so pay attention to the tubes. You're gonna see the ink go through. That means uh, we're doing well. So you just gotta push it until you feel the spring. See how it filled up with ink? You guys can see all this filled up. So we're gonna keep going. All right, let's put this thing back. Um, again, it needs to loop like this. Kind of weird. And then we set it down. I think that's it, right? That's how it... Yeah, it's it. It's it. It's it. These little filter things need to go where these little plugs are. So let's go ahead and take these plugs out. We're gonna go with the uh, fat end. So there's two ends to it. There's a, uh, a smaller end or a skinnier end and a fatter end. Fatter end goes in. So it's just a filter um, just to get all the dust. I don't think we need it, but since it came with it, we're gonna go ahead and put it in there. It's like a diaphragm. It keeps all the dust out. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. Okay, let's plug it back in, turn it on. Bing, bing, bing. All lit up, that means ready to go. All right guys, that's it um, for today. It's getting late, it's like almost 1 a.m. and I'm really tired. So uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ah, what's up guys? So it's day two on working on the, that thing. Uh, man, I'm tired. I don't know how this video is gonna turn out, but I know um, yesterday's video at night was a little yellow because of these stupid yellow lights here that I gotta change. But hopefully it's okay. I don't know. All right, so what are we doing? We are installing the waste. What is this thing called? Waste. What is it called? Waste, waste something. Waste something. A waste tank. Uh, this only was only what, 20 bucks or something like that? So um, we're gonna install it. It's gonna go in the back of the system. You know, it's one of those things that um, once you start, you can't really come back to it because um, we're gonna be drilling a hole into this panel here. It's probably this panel right here. All right, so first things first is we have some um, screws to take off. We have three here, one, two, and three. Keep in mind this middle one is a silver screw, I believe. A silver screw because that one actually screws on to the uh, um, the how the metal housing here so make sure don't mess that up okay so uh let's go ahead and screw it all right we got our uh, Phillips let's go ahead and take this thing off there it is let's just put that up there let's get this thing squared away actually let me cut this thing open
one thing that I could tell you about the Cobra inks on how they package it, that was like vacuum sealed or it, it was sealed. So it was, it's really nice how they have this thing packaged up. All right, so we got the, uh, of course, the actual, oh, the actual um, thing itself. So that's gonna go like right here, okay? What else we got? We got the uh, waste removal syringe. So this would go like this. So when this thing fills up, we can use this to take it out. And we got some uh, zip ties and some cleaning solution. And of course the uh, Velcro there. Okay. All right. So now I got, we gotta take this panel out. This front panel out. So let's go and open this door. We gotta take this panel, this whole panel right here on the side. So best thing to do is give it a little squeeze right here. There you go. Pop it off. So you got to just squeeze that to get to loosen this little tab right here. Put that aside. If I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's these little clips here. One, two, three. We're gonna get our little small screwdriver here and just pop it up. Now we gotta lift straight up. There we go. Pop this thing up. So it sits this way. We gotta pop it up. There it is. Put this aside. Right behind the camera. All right. What we got going on here? So here's the uh, the tube for the waste tank. So what it does is when it does its cleaning, Epson uses a lot of ink when you're doing head cleaning. So all that waste is coming down here, going through here, and going underneath this pad back here. And when that when that pad is full, can't use it anymore. Basically, you have to, well, you gotta tear it apart and get that pad out and replace it if they have a replacement. I don't even know if they have a replacement for it, but um, it's very insufficient. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take this thing off, extend this tube back here into the tank that we have right here. This little grommet here. So what you do is you squeeze it and pull it back just a little bit and then we pull the tube gently out of there just be careful just in case you have you do have ink it might spill out the fun part is we're going to be drilling a hole like i mentioned on this back panel here let's go ahead and do it so here's the back panel um i was told that if you look at the corner of this let me move it around it has this little indentation here and here I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe I can get the good shot. But we're gonna drill right in the middle here, so it'll be right in the corner here. So we're gonna be using a, uh, a quarter inch drill bit. Let's go ahead and drill it through. All right, looks good. I cleaned it off with a blade. Looks good. All right. Here's our tube. The one with the coupling, mine has two different colors, but the one with the coupling, you guys see the coupling? This one doesn't. This one needs to go on the bottom. Uh, you might need to take the, uh, the little coupling off to get the tube in. I should put it back on there. Put that on the bottom. And then the other one will go right on the top. Like so. Okay, get a little bit of slack. It's gonna look somewhat like that. Go ahead and feed these wires. You wanna feed it closer to the body of, of, um, of the printer. Uh, you don't wanna go through up and over wires and, and uh, electrical things. So we're gonna keep it as close as we can towards the body of the printer. Now, we, this is the fun part. Okay, let's move this aside here so we can see what we're doing. The two that we just pulled out of here, this thing, on the video is asking you to cut this thing off. Um, why? I don't know, but I'm not gonna do that. So the one with the coupling, this goes right in here. And you're supposed to get the zip tie to zip this up. Now we're gonna set this Right underneath the carriage here, just set it down, set it down like that. 
There we go. I think that looks mighty good. I might pull it back just a little bit. and seated it's not going anywhere it's not hitting anything awesome now the second tube is we're gonna go to this thing where we took the uh, the other one off the original part okay so the only thing that irritated me is they gave you one of these for that one this thing is is easily you can easily move it back and forth so make sure you grab a zip tie or something We're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use it as a clamp and zip tie it down. There's this little corner here. Let's see if I can use this as a pointer. There's a little corner here, the sheet metal here. Just make it go around over it, make it make it like a bracket or something. Okay, and I think that should be it. We are done. So in the video is tell is asking you to put tape here. Um what I'm gonna be using is, I'm gonna be using a gaffer's tape. So, what we wanna do is, we're just gonna tape it down to secure it. We're not um, trying to tape the whole thing down. Just make sure that it stays put. All right, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> Don't look at it too much. Put our side clamp or side side piece back on Remember, it hit comes from the top again there's like a hinge here guys so I actually put the bottom in first so you can see that the bottom goes in first like so ta-da all right, now we let's keep working on the back. All right, so we're back at at here. Um, we still have this thing loose. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, put it back in there. So that's on there. It's not screwed on yet. Um, what we're gonna do is get our alcohol wipe, clean off where this is gonna go. So again, we got those Velcro things. Gonna go like right here. Yeah, so what, while that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and put the Velcro onto this. You don't want this to be elevated in any way, so keep it on the floor with this. So what you do is just slide it in there and make sure it all works out. So I can tell you right now <laughs> that if you're looking at it from the top view, look at the Velcro, it's way off. So it's not gonna stick. We gotta find another way. I don't like how they place it. See, they placed it a little off there. It's off, so it's not sticking on there. It's not on there correctly, but that's good. Let me push this in just a little bit. All right, so when you're doing uh, cleaning or printing or whatever, you get a lot of waste, right? So th this, the reason for the waste tank, when you get half full or however, you get the uh, waste tank removal syringe. Put this little thing in there. Okay, so what you need to do is take this thing off, like so. I really don't like how this thing is sitting. Just twist the bottle, not the cap. Okay. Try not to take the whole thing out. Get your syringe. Do -do -do -do. Get it out and dispose it. And then we put this cap back in and then uh, put it back. And we just Velcro it back together like so. And that is it. I really gotta fix that Velcro. So let's go ahead and uh, do our test print. All right, what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna print right out of um, Illustrator. 
without using any accurate or separation studio or whatever we're gonna print directly right on the thing just want to make sure everything's good it's, uh, it's doing its uh, power cycle see how here's the waste 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 right in the tank a lot of waste these printers that's pretty cool though i like to see that it works it's printing yeah. we got this uh scrap um we got transparency let's see how it looks look at it it's not pretty so what's great about this uh printer um it prints 11 by 17 and also 13 by 17s which i got both the only thing is yes it doesn't have a roll which kind of sucks so i do have some rolls right here transparency but i still got the films like i was saying this is scrap so don't worry about that i don't know why hmm but just the print looks good let's see yeah, it looks like it's blocking out pretty good. This is great. Well, I, I kind of took a chance with this printer. Um, not knowing that, you know, if, if there was something wrong with it. Because when I bought it, um, the guy couldn't test it for me. Um, because uh, he didn't have any ink. Well, it had ink cartridges, but it was empty. So the only thing I could rely on was it, um, that it was working. And he was using it... Um, before he ran out of ink now um don't know how long that was so i was just taking a chance of buying it but 100 bucks for this printer for for this 1430 can't beat it yeah um and then going off and buying the the cis from cobra ink kind of like i took a gamble on that it was really expensive um 160 bucks i get i guess well, like I said, you know, it's 160 bucks for a CIS kit for this printer. Um, the only reason why I wanted to get this one is one, um, it had his own little reset button on the um, the cartridges itself, so I don't have to take, I don't have to take the cartridge out or whatever. I don't have to reset it with those little resetters um, things. The CIS kit, it came with black ink, which is awesome. Um, I probably could have got the whole thing for like 100 bucks, but I went ahead and did it um, and then the waste tank make sure you guys get the waste tank for this printer or any Epson printer get a waste tank it's a uh, it's a lifesaver and it it will um, keep your printer going as far as longevity so yeah look, prints if you're new to this channel please 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 uh, you know subscribe and hit that like button and hit that notification bell um, I have new plans or have big plans coming in within a few weeks and then um, thinking about kind of changing the channel up a little bit I've been wanting to keep it going um, so changing up the volume changing up the content so be be aware on that one okay all right guys I'll see you thanks for watching peace out